For as far back as I can remember, I've been going to communion and receiving communion on the hand. I've never thought twice about it. Everybody else around me does it. Priests, bishops, they all say that's how we do it here in America. Until recently, when I discovered through the Trinity Mass, the Latin Mass, the Mass of all times, that the most reverent way to receive the Eucharist is by kneeling and on the tongue. Now I suppose if you don't believe that Christ is truly present in the Eucharist, it doesn't matter how you receive it or even why to receive it. Which is probably why not so many Catholics are going to Mass anymore. Which is also probably why there's a lot of Catholics leaving the Church. Because if we truly believe that Christ is present in body, blood, soul, and divinity, Every Catholic would be going to Mass to receive communion. Churches would be packed. Religious vocations skyrocketing. The world would be a much better place. You see, the greatest object in the entire universe is the Eucharist because it is Him, Jesus Christ, truly present. And because of this, we need to think twice about how we receive Him. It is sad to know that when we receive the Eucharist in the hand, literally, we step on Christ because fragments inevitably will fall off the hands, off the fingers, onto the floor. Ever since the introduction of the Eucharist on the hand had, has been introduced, abuse has occurred and continue to occur. Now I know it is an accepted practice here in America and in different parts of the world. And one could argue that because it is accepted, that's the way we, can, we should do it. But all one has to do is look at documents, do some research, and they will find out that the universal preference, the universal norm of the church is to receive Eucharist on the tongue but even so, take that away. That still doesn't change the fact that Christ is present in the Eucharist. And that those fragments that are on our hands that could, be, that could fall are still Christ. Christ expects the best from us and we owe it to Him because He is so loving to give back our best to Him. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by receiving Him kneeling and on the tongue. If you're like me and find it difficult to receive communion in the hands, find another church. Find a church that appreciates, preserves, and practices the sacredness of tradition. Even if it takes you an hour, two hours, Christ deserves at least that to be received in the most reverent way.